viral TikTok video is sparking debate over hound hunting in Vermont. The video posted last week has already hit more than 12 million views. As NBC5's Brianna Borgie shows us, it's drawing attention to the decades old sport. I did not expect it to get the response that it has in the last week or so. Millions of people are getting a glimpse into hound hunting in Vermont after Morgan Gold posted this now viral video documenting a run in at his farm. On one hand, um, a lot of folks were shocked to say that that sort of thing even still goes on in Vermont. The other reaction is, you know, just people calling me a flatlander and saying, hey, know your place, bud. When the president of the Vermont Bear Hound Association, Butch Spear, showed up to Goldshaw Farm, Gold wasn't happy. I feel like I'm completely powerless based on the way the laws are to say that I don't want those folks on the property. Spears hounds had cornered a bear on the property and he was there to retrieve them. Gold agreed and followed Spear to the hounds. These dogs are in an absolute frenzy. There's no calling them off. The, the owners have to physically pull them with the leash to get them away from the tree. That to me is not control. That to me isn't recall. Gold isn't against hunting. In fact, he hunts himself, but not with hounds. In one conversation caught on video, Gold says Spear doesn't have control of his dogs. Spear disagrees because all of his hounds are wearing GPS trackers. Your point is you can't control where your dogs go if they're tracking something. I can't control the bear. The dogs are taught to follow the bear. Right, but if you can't control the bear, then you can't control your dogs if the dogs are controlled by the bear. By state law, I am 100% in control of my dogs right now. And that's true, says Jason Batchelder of Vermont's Fish and Wildlife Department. If you know where your dogs are you, and, and you are properly permitted and licensed, then you are, you are meeting the letter of the law for control of dogs. Vermont Fish and Wildlife regulates hound hunting in the state. We support it because it is a, a, a traditional use of a sustainable population. Batchelder recognizes not everyone likes the sport. There's no doubt about it. When when dogs go running across someone's property and they're howling and barking and baying, that it causes a ruckus. Gold started a petition to stop hound hunting, which has gotten more than 80,000 signatures. Now there's also a counter petition, but Gold hopes there's a middle ground. In Peachum, Brianna Borgie, NBC5 News.